turn now to our junior cover story. It's the new fallout from Oprah Winfrey's announcement that she's pulling out as executive producer of the documentary On the Record, which focuses on sexual misconduct allegations against hip-hop mogul Russell Simmons. Adrian Banker here with the story. Hey, Adrian. Hey, George. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Yes, Oprah now responding to claims that she was pressured by Russell Simmons, saying no one intimidated her. And it was Oprah's own concerns with wanting more work to be done on the film to shine a light on what the alleged victims went through. And that is why she stepped aside. Those close to her team reiterating that the goal is to get it right when it comes to these allegations. Oprah Winfrey bowing out as executive producer of a project chronicling the stories of women with sexual harassment and in some cases assault allegations against hip hop mogul Russell Simmons. The documentary titled On the Record, slated as one of Winfrey's debut projects for Apple TV Plus, centered around Drew Dixon, who told the New York Times in 2017 that Def Jam co-founder Simmons assaulted her in his apartment in 1995 while Dixon was an executive assistant for the company. Now, according to a source close to Winfrey's team, Oprah does believe the women, but that the goal is to, quote, get it right with no rush to release the documentary. Winfrey tells the New York Times that Simmons attempted to pressure her to abandon the project multiple times, but that it was her own concerns, including possible inconsistencies with Dixon's story, not Simmons' protest, that led her to ultimately back out. Initially in December, Simmons, who has not been charged with any crime and has denied any allegations of non-consensual sex, took to Instagram, addressing Winfrey in an open letter saying, quote, It's so troubling that you choose me to single out in your recent documentary. I have already admitted to being a playboy, more appropriately titled today Womanizer, sleeping with and putting myself in more compromising situations than almost any man I know, so many that some could reinterpret or reimagine a different recollection of the same experiences. I think she wanted a bit more of a longer and more insightful take, um, but the Kirby Dick and uh, Amy Zering have been working on the film for at least three years. So I think from their perspective, the film uh, is, is more than done and ready for audiences. The filmmakers Kirby Dick and Amy Zering, who were behind the critically acclaimed 2015 documentary, The Hunting Ground. My name is Alexa Schwartz. My name is Ari Masta. Tell Deadline, quote, while we are disappointed that Oprah Winfrey is no longer an executive producer on the project, we are gratified that Winfrey has unequivocally said she believes and supports the survivors in the film. Now, the film is set to be released at Sundance this Saturday, January 25th. George. Thank you, Adrian. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.